Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Um, what you got? Sweet weed coming at you. Um, what we got looking here is uh, my light. Uh, it's my cool tube, 250 watt, kind of bright. Um, what I'm doing is I've cleaned the glass. I'm trying to make sure I get all the marks off, so I got a nice clean glass, so there's nothing bad reflecting on it so um we'll take a little look over here in the flower room um what i've done is clean the mylar and the anti-static it and what i do for that is i spray just basic window cleaner on the mylar and just lightly rub it down because the more aggressive you get on wiping it <coughs> down it seems to scratch it more so uh, that's why I lightly rub it with my hand this take the squeegee and run it right down the wall you know make sure your hands up there and whoosh, works pretty good no streaks or anything like that so but I seem to like it it works a lot better um, I like cleaning out the room after each grow and sanitize it and I got this bot my bottom floor here. I take out and I vacuum it and re-clean it. What I think I'm gonna do is right now I got like socks stuck in there around the wall. So I'm getting a little leakage going down through the wall to the room downstairs. So what I think I'm gonna do is just take some uh, spray foam and sp spray it in there and hopefully that will seal it up. Plus, it's, you know, it's leaking in cold air. That's why I put the socks in there anyway. So, it, you know, stop the warm air from coming in and the cold air. So, that's what I can do with that. Um, over here, my carbon filter. Um, what I'm doing with that is I'm going to have to give me another one. I can't really see with this light in the way. But, uh. It's only like seven pounds of carbon. It's not the biggest filter ever, but um, I'm looking at replacing it. But when I do replace it, what I think I'm going to do, because my light comes like down here, is I might put a Y on it and put a damper on it. So only when my smell gets bad, I can open up the damper and close this side off and run my filter or run the other side with just not through the filter because it seems to you know it's going all the time and I don't need it to filter all the time just only when it smells so <clears throat> that's what I think I'm going to do with that took off that piece of shit with it <laughs> the insulation and pulled it off so that's all good to go um, don't really like the look of it but you know fuck it this is what it is get another filter I don't know it may have to be longer or shorter or whatever I'll adjust it to whatever but uh here's my hooks that hook my lights on just kind of use these for drying but uh just to let you guys know what happened here is I was clipping some some stems or not some stems but some leaves and I clipped the damn cord so uh, what I did is I spliced them together and as long as they're not touching it works just fine I thought I was gonna have to buy me a new one so uh, I wouldn't advise clipping it but uh, it's you know it's pretty it's pretty accurate so I mean it's a couple degrees off from one probe to the to the whole unit here but you know I kind of go in between that too so I have that one that hangs usually off the light with this probe down here and I got this here that gives me the humidity also and the temperature of up there and usually on the floor I have another one that I just get uh, temperature down at that level so I kind of 
fluctuate between the three and see what kind of temperatures I'm running and then also um, over here I better turn this thing off it's getting a little hot there we go but also over here well if you can see it where the hell it went there, there it is I run a uh, thermometer inside my dirt or my medium to see what temperature that goes. So try to keep that around 72, 80 degrees. More for cold and really hot temperatures, but it works. Seems to work out pretty good. But uh, gonna get this all back together. See about getting the Y put on there and what size it is and all and. Uh, We'll get an update. Alright. Subscribe, questions, whatever. Um, like I said, it's a 250 with a four, 455 CFM fan. But anyways, got any questions, comments, subscribe. Cheers!